Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. So, it's been a busy week and I've raced down to the local um, plumbing supplies and as you can see over my left shoulder here, I've got a heap of white pipe. Now that white pipe is the 90 mil stormwater pipe. Now I've been talking to the, um, the company. Now that particular brand is Ipex. Now the reason I chose Ipex was because of the pressure rating. So when we were talking before about atmospheres and every 10 meters, an extra, it's a, an extra 14.7 PSI, I needed to make sure that stormwater pipe had some sort of pressure rating. And what that pressure rating is, is suitable for a 30 meter head. Now we're well within that because we've only got 10. So what I need to do now, now I've worked out how many lengths I've got. I need to actually count them because I've just laid them all out. Um, the process begins is that we're just going to press fit them together without glue, same as before. And we're gonna try for the third time now, our volume. Now, once we've worked out our volumes and I'm, I'm really, really hoping that we're gonna get close to, to 10, maybe a little, little bit more, that would be fantastic. Our goal is seven. So that's what um, our bottom end's going to be. And that, that seven liters a second will give us our 300 watt um, power from the Pelton wheel, the Pelton turbine. So that's really where we want to be going, a, a minimum of seven. So we've got it all laid out. I've got Mads with me today, so she's going to be helping me also. We've got to do two things. Down with our 220 um, litre drum, we've got to do a volume test. And I just want to make sure that we're still in the, the ballpark figure for our 10 metres. Um, so our, the PSI that we need to achieve is 14.7. So if we shoot for that 15 like what we had last week, um, then we're right on the money. All right, so. I'll go find Mads, I'll start joining these all together, I'll come and find you, and I'll see you soon. All right, so it's been epic, but we've finally got it all press fitted in. Now, what you can probably, I don't know if you're about to pick this up, you can, the, the, the white pipe, it's like a roller coaster coming down the hill, it's up and down and left and right and everything else. Now that's obviously going to affect our water volume coming out at the end. Now, because of the, 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 the route that we've taken, um, we've got little 45 degree bends everywhere, and, and, and I, I can see we've got leaking on some of the pipes as well. So, all of these things will need to be rectified because once we go something a little bit more permanent, it'll be a straight run, all on one grade coming through. And I think, really at the end of the day what I'm going to have to do is make up like stone columns or wooden columns or something like that all cemented together to support this pipe all the way through. Now because of the pipe itself um, it, it, and it and being full the guys at Iplex were saying that I needed to support the pipe every 1200 um, and then of course on every joint. So there's going to be quite a few little pillars <laughs> coming through here which will be a bit of a fun process over summer um, hoping that we can then get everything up and running for next season next the, the next wet over winter so let's go down to the business end hopefully we've got that you know really would love 10 10 liters a second I don't know if we're going to get it I, I'm a bit nervous um, but remembering that ideally we're, we're aiming for seven so we'll go down the end I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are at the business end and I'm just looking at the, um, the water coming out of the pipe now and I'm hearing a lot of water coming through. So what I'm expecting is that my little dam up the top there is actually causing a, a whirlpool, sucking air into the pipe. So I think what's gonna have to happen up there is that we have to increase the wall height um, just so it's a little bit deeper, so it doesn't cause that little eddy or, or vacuum you know, of air coming into the pipe. Look, in saying that though, it looks better than our twin 45mm pipe. So, 
calculators at the ready. You ready, Mads? Yep. Yeah. One, two, three. And stop. You right, Mads? Yeah. What have we got there? 16. 16.3 seconds. Oh, well, let's just wrap. Oh, that's pretty good. Round that up to 20 on two litres, on 220 litres. We got it! That's 11 litres a second. Woohoo! So, we know I'm stoked. And that's with all the restrictions and all the issues that we have as a part of um, our wine coming through, the up and down and around the corners and everything else. If I was to get this straight and have a proper grade, we might be able to extend our electricity time um, into maybe mid-spring coming into summer. That could work, that could be the potential that, um, that we have there. Oh, mate, I'm just stoked. Okay, so what, um, what we'll need to do is we'll work out exactly on the, the matrix, on the calculations, of what we've got so that we can then convert that back into wattage. Like I said before, we were chasing seven. In rough figures, we've got 11. So, you know, we, we wanted 300 watt system to give us around about that eight kilowatt hours a day. So we've got that. I'm just pumped, I'm pumped. So let me make some calculations. I've got to clean up a bit of mess here. I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are back in the home paddock. And that little creek that we were looking at actually feeds into this and then sort of bypasses through. It's like a, a series of big billabongs. Um, all right, now, back to the money end. We worked out exactly what our flow was, and it was 14.4 litres a second. Now, based on that, we were looking at 370 watt. All the way. So it worked out fantastically. Our objective was seven, so seven gives, gives, gives us then um, 300 watt, and we can go from there. So I'm stoked, absolutely stoked that we've actually worked out our volumes now based on a single 90 mil diameter. Now we will probably get a larger flow um, coming out of that because of the resistance and everything else that we'll start eliminating. So we'll have a, a constant grade coming from the waterfall back down to where we're going to have our uh, micro hydro meter um, and no bends or very little bends and it's all going to be tip top so now that um, we've got what we needed to as a part of our calculations um, we're going to be busy over the summer months getting all that ready and, and going from there. But knowing that we've got that extra volume coming through, like I was saying before, it's, it's, it's going to extend the time that we can use the, um, the hydro generator. So we might be able to sort of start using it coming into autumn and then all the way through winter and as we're sort of coming into spring. Um, it could work out fantastic for everyone. So all about Getting your volumes right. Oh, and by the way, we put the pressure test um, pressure gauge on. Forgot to show you, we ran out of um, battery on the on the camera, but the um, it was exactly the same. So we're sitting at 15.3, uh, one, um, point one of a psi higher, and I think that was just purely because of the length of pipe that we had and we didn't cut it. So yeah, so 15.3. Perfect, mate. Absolutely perfect. So, like and subscribe. All about your stage three now, planning for your micro hydro power generator. I'll see you soon.